Okay, we're going to give you some help with Elizabeth Zimmerman's baby surprise jacket. This pattern came out in 1968 and has enjoyed quite a bit of resurgence lately. And a um, number of people are making them. They're great fun. There are a couple things that might trip you up. And so we're going to do a series of six videos to help you. And then this first one, we're just going to help you gather your materials and talk a little bit about the pattern. So um, first of all, if you have Elizabeth Zimmerman's book, Knitting Workshop, you will find the pattern in there. It's uh, toward the, in the back of the book. And then also on page 100, you have a nice little picture of it, as well as uh, instructions for the adult surprise jacket. So maybe you want to make a baby surprise jacket first and someday uh, tackle the adult surprise jacket. So the pattern is available in the book. Many libraries have it. And your local yarn shop may carry it as well. And then in addition, you can get this single pattern. It's very inexpensive. And your yarn shop should be able to get this from Schoolhouse Press for just a few dollars for you. Um, and this is what we use in our shop. We work from this pattern. So I'll be referring to that pattern as we go. Okay. So you'll need to gather a pattern. And then you're going to have to choose which yarn you'd like to use. Now her patterns are very sketchy. And you have a little bit in regards to sizing, but not a whole lot of information. She says here that if you uh, have six stitches to an inch, it's a fine present for a newborn. And so what we've done as we finished several sweaters over the past year or so is trace them as they come in. So you can trust her. These are proportional sizes. There's nothing changed in the pattern in terms of numbers. It's all done with gauge. So the smallest size uh, is this one we traced was 22 stitches to 4 inches in garter stitch, which means if you make a swatch and you take a measurement, you're going to count in garter, which means you're knitting every row, how many stitches are in 4 inches. And for this one, uh, this was closer to 6 stitches per an inch or 24, so it's a little smaller than our smallest one drawn there. And that's the size you get. And if you want to make this newborn size, you would be best off picking a DK weight yarn, which knits up normally to like six stitches per inch in, in stockinette. Or you could knit a worsted weight quite tightly and get a nice little jacket. If you want to make the bigger sizes, though, a DK weight will not work because what happens is to make gauge, you get a much lacier fabric than you would want. Okay, so pick something a little heavier to make the larger sizes. For this one, just give you an example now of several things that we've used to make them, and you can be creative and have fun. This one was made with two strands of sock yarn held together throughout, and that makes the gauge. Nice thing about the sock yarn, too, is that this then would be washable for the mom. And we took these two yarns. They're really just a cotton wool blend, and you don't have to even worry too much about you know how they match. You get a little contrast, hold those two together, and that made this one. Here's another sample. This one we knit from a dyed blank. This was a DK weight yarn and a nice washable wool. And here is the blank we knit them from. Some of you maybe have seen these for sock knitting, etc. Um, but we call this surprise, surprise. It's hand dyed by Rita from Yarn Hollow here in, in Michigan. And what you do is you get this nice big blank. Now I have to tell you, this is what's left over after making this. So these are big enough to knit a sweater, hat, booties, or a sweater and something else, a little something else for yourself. And the way this works is that you simply knit while unraveling this. And since they were dyed in stripes, they will reappear as stripes in your baby surprise jacket in a real nice kind of watercolory tie-dyed look. So that's a lot of fun. Another thing you can do is just to pick solid yarns and to stripe it, or solid yarns and just do it all in one color. But really the striping yarns are the most fun. And so here's a cotton that stripes. That's tie-dye from Knit One Crochet 2. Pretty colors. You could do it in Comfort, which is a variegated yarn. Comfort worsted variegated. Those are very sweet, but not striped. You can do it in a tunnel from Dive. Very subtle stripes. You have to hand wash that wool. And I'm thinking about making my next one in Jasper because I'd like to make one a little bigger. And this will also do some nice subtle striping. 
You can also do them, they're beautiful, made out of the Noro yarns. You will just knit on and let the striping happen by itself. This is Curion, and this is Noro Silk Garden. So once you decide on the yarn you want to make, you're going to take a needle and do some swatching. Like I said, I think I want to use this Jasper yarn, maybe one color, maybe two. And so I've done a little swatch, and when I measure it, I'm getting 16 stitches for 4 inches in garter, and so I would end up with this larger size, except I'm not quite certain because I think the fabric feels a little lacy, so I think I'm going to go down a needle size, shoot for 18 for 4, and I'm going to cast on. Now I'll get started, and why don't you gather your materials and get started, and next time we'll go over the maneuvers and the patterns so that you can get them right, and I'll also show you how to keep track of where you are as you go, which is part of the trick. So grab your pattern, pick your yarn and your needles, and we'll pick it up next time.